Hello guys, my name is Ralph Johnson and welcome to another episode of Ralph Johnson Photography. Today we're going to talk about the future of photography pretty much. Um, I noticed I was looking through a few patents the other day and Canon released some patents that they you know, filed with the U.S. Patent Office along with a couple other patent offices on a multiple flange camera, which seemed very interesting to me. I'm assuming Nikon's going to be doing the same thing here shortly. And the reason why I'm thinking this is because I'm thinking that we're going to have to be buying new lenses shortly. Like within the next year or so, for the simple reason that Sony is taking up a major marketplace now to where freaking um, Canon's losing people to Sony's mirrorless cameras because they're doing so well. They're very well, you know, the cameras are very well put together. They take fantastic images. They, Canon, uh, Sony's really kicking ass in this case, okay? And Nikon and Canon are kind of behind the thing and behind the times because of this. So I'm thinking that we're going to be seeing a mirrorless camera from Canon and Sony, Canon and Nikon very soon, okay? Like within the next year. So by the end of 2019, I am predicting we will see a full frame camera from at least Canon, probably Nikon also. So my thing with this though is that, like I said, I found a patent that Canon issued to the U.S. Copyright Office and other copyright offices for a multiple flange setup to where we're not, to where we can use either or. I'm thinking it's going to be a new lens system. I'm not sure what it's going to be called. I'm not sure if it's going to be called the EE or ES or whatever, okay? But I'm thinking it's going to be a new uh, lens system for this mirrorless camera. The reason why I'm thinking this is because of the fact that mirrorless sensors are very much closer to the body than any other sensor, okay? So therefore, they need to have that flange closer, okay? Because if they had a regular, regular lens set up and everything to where an EF lens hooked onto a mirrorless camera, that, that depth of field wouldn't be right. So they're going to have a different flange, which means that we're going to have to buy different lenses. So the future of photography to me is pretty much looking like we're going to have to buy a whole new ecosystem if we stay with Canon. Or a whole new ecosystem if we stay with Sony, uh, Nikon. Or if you jump the ship and go to Sony, you got to buy a whole new ecosystem anyway. So, But what I'm thinking that Canon's going to do is that I'm thinking that Canon, and I'm not sure about Nikon, I'm thinking Canon mainly in this case is going to make an adapter for that mirrorless to full frame, you know, from, from that mirrorless camera, the, so whatever they call it, the new Canon mirrorless, I don't know, um, I don't even know what they would call it, uh, but like I said, I'm thinking from that, they're going to have an adapter where you put the EF lenses on for a time. I don't think it's going to last forever, and I'm thinking, you know, maybe five years down the road they're gonna get rid of that even so we're gonna to have to buy the new lenses anyway uh, to me I don't see this as a bad thing because lens technology has evolved camera technology has evolved and people doing the photography realm in this type of DSLR system is evolving too I mean there was a big pushback when digital single reflex can single lens reflex cameras came in because it's not a SLR, it's a DSLR, okay? So now I'm thinking it's just the next evolution of this happening, and so to me that's my opinions on it. So I look forward from a new Canon camera that is mirrorless, I look forward to a new Nikon camera that is mirrorless. And that's all I got to say about it, I think the future is going to be very bright and very exciting about what's coming up because of these reasons too. So. I think it's going to be a good three-way running game again instead of Sony taking off with all the mirrorless stuff. I think it's going to be Canon and Nikon right there, you know, on their heels chasing them again. So, anyways, this is Ralph Johnson saying peace out. Bye.